I would say the show has definitely evolved. In a, in a weird way, I think we've come full circle. This is a show that started out very much about um, a girl who finds out that aliens exist in the world and how it rocks her world and changes her. And I think through the second season, we got very much into the um, sci-fi aspect of the show, the mythology aspect of the show, um, where they came from, fighting battles from where they were. And I thought for this season, what I really felt I wanted to do was bring this show back to an emotional show, to be about the arcs of these people. The thing that I've always loved most about the show is that we see these aliens as almost more human than humans. It lost what was so amazing about it and what, what everybody was drawn to it for, which was the mix of this beautiful relationship between Max and Liz and it getting, you know, these outside forces, but it was more like, I'm in love, but I'm an alien. And then all of a sudden it became like, I'm an alien and I have a girlfriend, you know? It was like, so it totally took a turn that not everybody was too excited about. Now, after seeing one season, the first season that was based heavily on the romance and second season, which was based heavily on the science fiction. They know which aspects of each work. And I think that beginning of the season, well, everything that we've shot so far, they've done a really good job of working hard to combine the two. Voila! M&M, Tabasco Squirrel cookies, and I made them all by myself. A care package. Man, Max is so spoiled. <laughs> What we wanted to do with this first episode is to put uh, Max and Liz at the center of the episode and their relationship at the center of it, because that's sort of where it all began. And what I feel, that relationship is sort of the heart of the show to me. At the end of last season, Tess has left the planet with Max's unborn son, and Max vows that he will do anything to save his son and find him. And in the beginning of this first episode, we find him on the journey to do that, and Liz is along for the ride. You know, Max and Liz are together, which I think is going to be incredibly satisfying to the fans of the show who've been waiting for this for a long time. And um, there's a little bit of Bonnie and Clyde in them as they basically pursue um, trying to communicate with Max's son. Down, 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 down. It's been three years, I think that Max started out as, as one thing, somewhat innocent and, and a little naive, and, and, and he's been through a lot, and I think people have been through a lot with him, and he's, he's, he's not jaded, but I think he's a little more, um, a little more world-worn. Let me see hands. He got any powers for this? With the death of her friend, she really had to stand up and take a stand for something, and that's when she started getting confidence and believing herself again, and that's sort of where uh, the show picks up, third season. And you see that she's finally regained her spirit. She's, she and Max have gotten back together, and they're rebelling, and sort of just taking the world by storm together and creating a storm. Hey, look, Max, I know what we did is totally, uh, totally wrong and completely legal, but... I just left it, you know? In a million years. In one million years, did you ever think? 